What's up everyone, Big Dan here, and in this video, we're going to explore what happens when you use dark magic in Hogwarts Legacy. We'll take a look at how all your companions react when you use unforgivable curses in combat, as well as the long-term consequences for becoming a dark wizard. Keep watching to see it all. Prior to release, Maura Squire, narrative director of Hogwarts Legacy, described the environment the developers wanted to create for the player when it comes to dark magic. Basically, they would allow the player to learn and use unforgivable curses without judgment, meaning using dark magic would not break the narrative of the story. And for the most part, this is true. There are no long-term consequences to dabbling in the dark arts in Hogwarts Legacy. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Crucio. However, that does not mean unforgivable curses will go unnoticed by your companions. If you use Crucio, Imperio, or Avada Kedavra in combat, many characters will make their opinions known. So let's take a look at how all your companions react when you use unforgivable magic. Natty, the do-gooder Gryffindor witch, predictably does not like it. Ominous, the angel on Sebastian's shoulder, and all-around Debbie Downer will also behave as expected, protesting any time you bust out the fun spells. Sebastian will obviously be impressed by unforgivable curses, happy to see that you took his teachings to heart. Ayo based, Sebastian. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Hogwarts Legacy and RPG videos. Poppy Sweeting doesn't seem to care all that much if you use unforgivable curses. Her comments are basically, Tee hee, I see you're becoming a dark wizard. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> then there's Amit, the nerdy astronomer from House Ravenclaw. <laughs> Hilariously, Professor Fig doesn't give all about you using unforgivable curses. He literally won't say anything about it. Some enemies will shit talk you though. But other than a few offhand remarks, there are no long-term consequences to using dark magic in Hogwarts Legacy. From a gameplay standpoint, I'm happy that the developers allow us to learn and use dark magic without breaking the story. They could have easily made these curses only available to enemies and those wizards walking an evil path. So I commend them for giving this power to the players. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? However, from an RPG standpoint, I kind of wish they would have implemented some kind of consequences to using dark magic. Even a simple cutscene or confrontation from some of your companions would have been a nice touch. For an example of this, look no further than Fallout 4. Your companions in that game would react to the decisions you made and potentially even leave your party entirely if you strayed too far from their ideals. Having low approval with a companion would trigger a crisis conversation where they would confront you and threaten to leave if you didn't change your ways. Depending on how you responded, you could end up alienating that companion forever. Plus, certain actions like killing an unarmed civilian would automatically trigger a crisis conversation where your companion would be like, Hey man, we don't do these sorts of things. If you do anything like this again, I'm gone. I kind of wish Hogwarts Legacy would have had something like this when it comes to dark magic. So let's say you use unforgivable curses in front of Natty. This would trigger a brief cutscene where she confronts you about using dark magic, asks you to stop, 
and tells you if you do it again, she'll stop working with you. Then the player would have the option to double down or apologize. But if you apologize and then continue to use dark magic, Natty leaves and you get locked out of that side quest line. But if you wanted to keep using those spells, you just have to do it when she's not around. This would go a long way to providing some real consequences to becoming a dark wizard and line up more with the lore of Harry Potter. Overall, I'm really enjoying Hogwarts Legacy, but I've got to admit some of the choices and RPG elements leave quite a bit to be desired. It's a great game, but I feel like the developers could have taken things a bit further to make it a better role-playing game. But that's a topic for another day. So there you have it. What happens if you use dark magic in Hogwarts Legacy? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Hogwarts Legacy and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you.